I experiment a little bit with different weapons. <laughs> now you have unlimited ammo and all your weapons. Yes, you, oh yeah, oh yeah. You just shoot as much as you want. Me. Now can you hurt yourself with a rocket launcher if I like shot the wall and I was standing no. right there? No, there's no friendly splash damage. Oh, they got me! Oh. Now is that Gibby or Stu? I'm not sure which one of them gets the kill there. <laughs> Use the inhaler. Here's the flamethrower. Oh, flamethrower, that's a good, good choice. Which, as it turns out, actually wasn't really the best choice for these guys, although there's some bosses later that the flamethrower just tears apart. Now, I can't place exactly where I've heard that sound effect for the gun she's using, but it's very familiar. It's just like generic machine gun noise from, yeah. like, the NES era. Hey, this game is like... I think of this game as sort of like... It's like from an alternate universe where NES games weren't filled with horrible bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? There were there were a few good. There were like, oh, no, of like... course! Oh, sir, oh, there's plenty of NES. I, that was my first... My, the first system I played was Atari 2600, but the first I ever owned was an NES. I loved it, but... Those there... games were filled with horrible bullshit, most of them. Oh yeah, there were there were eight hundred of them. There had to be quite a few uh, bullshit ones. Like I said, I'm not I'm not great at this game. I can beat it on hard difficulty, but I'm no master. I'm pretty impressed. I'm doing pretty well. And in case I didn't mention it, I should mention this is post commentary. I'm not just casually chatting while also doing this <laughs> and go and guzzling Sapporo. <laughs> I'm not, I don't multitask that well. Oh, I'm, oh! A little, I'm a little bit less impressed now. Nice. They have a common health bar. So. Oh, she's adorable. She's great. I know, she me. is! <laughs> she, she's, oh, she's an objectively reprehensible character, but she's adorable. <laughs> she's like Dexter, but hopefully she doesn't get shitty in, like, the third season. <laughs> Alright, more health. This is our the point you can buy is you can buy the different weapons. Basically. Oh, that's what that is like. That's how you access them. Yeah, but just and oh, the robot White, the star of an obscure indie platformer, White was a humble machine called upon to save mankind from a rogue AI, where he learned to think, feel, and even love. When his creator passed away, he secluded himself in the top of a massive skyscraper and has not been heard from since. And this miracle, this wonder of both nature and technology, is our next target. <laughs> because we want to be famous. <laughs> She's like the guy who shot John Lennon. <laughs> Look at all like little like, stuff like carved into her desk. I like it. Inf infiltrate the high security complex to disassemble White, the robotic fourth best hero of all time. Now White actually is you can actually unlock him and play as him. Does it change the story in any way, or no? It doesn't change the story. He does have different game mechanics. What are they? Um, I believe with White... I'm not sure they're actually... I, be I believe in, with White, like, you, uh, gain... Uh, the, uh, you gain, like, uh, you know, your slow-mo back. You gain it back faster based on your st on the, like, the style meter, I think. Now, oh. those do not... Now, those do not hurt you. Those are, like, uh, motion detectors. They will trigger an alarm and swarms of guys. Nicely done, nicely done. So you don't want to get hit by them. Fucking up these egg things, though. But yeah, there are, um... There's actually four playable characters. You start off with just Ren, you can unlock the other. Ren, and you can just unlock some of the others. There's, um... I don't actually know what the fourth one is, because I haven't beaten it on very hard. Although I have a sus I have... I can get... I have a guess. But, uh, you can also unlock, uh... White, you can also unlock Mecha Rin. <laughs> which, who I believe her, um, she regains uh, time meet, time, oh, the, the revolver, it, uh, it, it, it ricochets. Oh, cool. So, you know, getting those hard to reach areas. Now, the, uh, Me Mecha Rin, I believe her, um, mechanic is that, because, like, basic, ba standard Rin is just over time it recharges. Mecha Rin, I believe it's, like, by evading attacks or something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that's what happens when you get hit by the by the uh, the, the motion detector. Those things come. Shit just got real. Yeah. Can you blow up those little motion detector things or no? No. Let me take the elevator up. This starts. 
Elevator is always so inconvenient in video games. I would take the stairs every fucking time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Also, I, I, I'm not sure about like, but I know it's Rin, but like, uh, like, when you get game over, there's actually quite a few different, like, things that she'll say. Potentially. Including one, like, if you die a bunch of times in the same spot, she'll eventually say, like, do you have an older brother that can play this part for you? <laughs> But, uh, uh oh, Spider Core. Pilot. No. This, this, guy, this guy's tricky. So tricky that I'm pretty sure I die again. Yeah, well, I have almost no health. I'm not gonna... Oh, down I go. Oh. Ow. She's like. <laughs> she is pissed, as you can see there. But, like, if you get. If you're playing as Mecha Rin, it's like. It's sort of her regular quote, but there's all these, like, random, like, beat bloops in them. <laughs> oh, here's the laser. Does some nice damage, and it also it penetrates. Well. Like it goes through. Oh, not almost. Oh, away. almost over there. Yeah, I got I got the shit kicked out of me by this guy. Actually, this is not my finest hour. This guy looks like a bit of a dick. I basically win this one by attrition. <laughs> which is really not how bleed is meant to be played. You're hurting pretty good with that laser. Oh yeah, the laser takes its toll. Takes a good size chunk of Ow. Oh, oh, get out of there. No. I got him. Although I have only a little bit of health left. Okay, see that red thing? You, you shoot that thing to, uh... Open the door. <laughs> As you do in real life. Now, here's the part, the, uh... Busting out the inhaler. Oh, nice. It, the Kimbo pistols is you fire in both directions at once. But Ooh. since you're doing that, like your direction, your firepower in each direction is only half of what it would be. You know, right. Just, just regular duel. But it's great here because you you want you need to be able to shoot those guys and shoot the switches. So the akimbo pistols are ideal for this situation. Wow, that's cool. That's a little little matrixy right there. Oh yeah. White Mark II, heavy metal hero. Oh, and if you shoot down, she shoots up too. That's cool. Yeah. All right. The, the flamethrower is great at this guy. See that thing, that thing circling him? Mm -hmm. It'll block a lot of weapons, but it does not block. I don't. It does not block the flamethrower. I actually managed to beat this guy on this current life, and frankly, I shouldn't have because after after how shittily I played the uh, that elevator section, it really it's setting a bad example to then go on and win here after I. Oh, that played. was nice. Yeah, but it's. Yeah, the flamethrower is great against this guy. Yeah, you're just totally making his rockets look like a bitch. Oh, yeah. Her flamethrower looks like an upside-down Super Soaker 50. It does! <laughs> right. Which, funny story, I did turn into a flamethrower when I was a kid. I was about to say, it seems like you actually could if you just filled it with fluid and... Yep. You know, the appropriate fluid and... ...position to light in front of it. That was exactly what I did. I filled it with gas. I took a, uh, a coat hanger, tied it to the end, put a rag on the end of that, lit that, and squirted the flame through it. So, Victory! Level clear. Ironic, because obsession with fire is one of the warning signs of being a serial killer as a child. <laughs> See, it's Hold topical. That's the racer, I'm Bunny Rockette. An agile and cunning woman who made a name for herself infiltrating illegal racing circuits and giving the prize money to charity. She still occasionally enters her self-made racing ship in charity events, but has begun hoarding the money, the prize money for herself. Oh, so she's kind of turning shitty. This is like the first one where there's any sense that there's anything morally questionable about any of your victims. They should have just left it at it. She still is involved with charity. And, um... But... Occasionally, Bunny Rocket is involved in the Ice Bucket Challenge and raising money for ALS. Mission 4. Crash the charity race between the Bullet Train and Bunny Rocket, the speedy third best hero of all time. This is a cool one. Oh, they're all cool. This is, a cool one. Oh, this is sweet. The, uh, the asynchronous background. And you got, when that warning sign comes, that means you're approaching the tunnel. Did you ever play Contra for the PS2? Uh, no. Oh, that had a, had a, a very, very sweet train level. What was it, Shattered Soldier? 
Uh, I don't remember. It did not review well. Most people thought it was pretty terrible. It was objectively, it wasn't a very good game, but it was really fun, especially if you you know played it a dozen times and memorized it, because you could play it and feel like a badass. I'm not sure who these people I'm killing are. There are other people in the charity race. Or... Well, they're wearing pink. Maybe they're raising money for breast cancer, and you're just mowing them down. <laughs> not on my watch. <laughs> Oh, I don't. I don't know how I managed to fuck that up. I mean, they give you, it's not like they don't give you plenty of warning. <laughs> you think fuck that tunnel too? I'll shoot it. Any any level that takes place on top of moving vehicles always makes me think of the original. Yeah, I always think of uh, Ninja Turtles 2 the Arcade, the skateboard level. Oh, okay. Well, you mean, well, there was Ninja Turtles 2 on console, so it was just Ninja Turtles. Yeah, that's, yeah, I was going to say, it actually actually came out when the first Ninja Turtles came out, but it was it was only in arcades, and then they ported it. Oh, this, this, guy, this guy is tricky. This guy is not an easy fight. This guy's just fucking up the train? Yeah, he's just plunging those big-ass... Mantis arm blades right through. He just doesn't give a shit. This is almost as bad as the Amtrak truck, tr Amtrak trip I took when I was in like seventh grade. <laughs> There's a giant mantis involved. No, but we did kill a guy. Seriously? <laughs> we did. It's like it, the thing is, it's like it was a horrible trip, but I always feel kind of bad about complaining about it because I escaped it with my life, and not everyone did. The train crash. It, um, it, a guy tried to, like, beat the train at, like, 2 in the morning, and he, the train won. Jesus. Yeah, he was, that guy was intoxicated. I will blame that one on the booze. Now, usually, I don't usually do that well against this guy. Oh! I don't usually do that well against this guy, but this time I... This is actually a bit weird, because I usually, like, get my ass kicked by that guy, and then curb stomp the final boss, and this is actually kind of the opposite. Is that the final boss? No, no. Okay. That was just... I don't know if that thing works for Bunny Rocket or what. It's got like a bunny theme going on. Yeah. It's like her assistant, maybe. So do so do the little speeder things that the minions are riding on. So maybe they work for her. See, like, see, yeah, like, see, weaving through those bullets. That's the kind of thing. That, that's the kind of moment that really makes me. Yeah, that was cool. And killing charity workers too. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> This part actually had auto scrolls. There aren't many parts of the game. So you have to keep up with no! it? Oh! Yeah. No! Game over. Alright, let's try that again. Like I said, the checkpoints are pretty generous. You, you never really, you never get pushed back that far. Yeah. Which is good. It, doesn't, one, it doesn't tell no. you when you go through them, though, does it? Oh, uh, no, there's no notification. It's just kind of insinuated. I mean, I assumed you'd come back to the beginning of this fight. destroy that thing as far as I know. Oh, you can't? I don't think so. You just have to deal with it? <laughs> oh, like, again, like, that's a sort of, like, classic bleed moment there. Impossible situations made possible by the abilities you have, if you know just how to use it. Nice. Go! Go! 